Diary entry of Daniel Tom Sandra Daly for the 6th of November 2022. Okay. Well, it's only been a week since my last diary entry, but I've got, got some ambition to get another one. Um, it's been a qu quiet week. I've had a cold for a bit. And sniffles. I was enjoying my cigarettes. And... Uh, I cleared up after a few days and I got, but I didn't experience terribly much pain, but it was cold and it was a bit annoying. Uh, eating my regular meals. Last night I had bacon and egg sandwiches and a bit of rice and had some cheesecake as well. One of those packaged cheesecakes that was for dessert. Well, I have that at different times, but... Um, Greg and Christy and James went to Christy's mother last night for dinner. Uh, so they were out. And recently they went dancing. They've been doing, I think, swing dancing or something, Greg and Christy. So they're involved with that. James, I don't think he had cricket over this weekend. He didn't have any yesterday, I don't think. But uh, Christy goes to the gym a bit. I don't know how long. She's been doing it a while. I've noticed it a little bit. And she gets Tuesdays off. Um, Tuesdays, she doesn't work on Tuesdays. That's her day off. So she doesn't work on Tuesdays. Gregory's home is a reasonable amount of time because he only works part-time with his uh, aged care work. And he does a little bit of tutoring as well. A little bit of tutoring. He's studying robotics at the moment, of course, and um, it's going okay. And he's just recently designed a squatter computer game. Squat is a board game made in Australia about sheep farming. Um, Gregory's designed his own version of that as a board game on the, on, as a software computer program. I haven't had a great look at it, but I've noticed a little bit of it. And um, well done. It's mostly complete and it's taken him a while. And um, yeah. Anyway, there's no change to the housing situation, but I did contact my cousin Caroline in UK via email just to uh, check with um, some things and um, uh, just information relating to the family and found out that there's complications with the leasehold arrangements for Gerald's flat in Cottingham, just just around the whole district in England. Uh, but uh, the sale should probably go through eventually. But that, until that comes, Bridget won't be able to tidy up the house properly and get the painting and the carpets done because of the share of the money which is going towards that particular project. So, yeah. Anyway, the, the real reason I'm doing this diary entry is that I want to talk about something I was doing, I'm still doing, and I, which started the month for the most part. I've got some videos done, I've got some writing done last night, but it was ancestry research, which is, of course, a Noah Hyde, I think, obligation, personally. Genesis 5 and Genesis 10 of the Bible, uh, the genealogies, and uh, so that's a major Noah Hyde focus. But I was doing ancestry research on Ancestry.com. I forked over some cash for the heritage, my heritage sort of system. And I've got a temporary subscription for the general thing, a 14 three day trial. So I use that. And I've been digging into all those little leaves, which you see on the, the family tree entries, the people's entries. They get a little leaf at the top corner, top right corner, which are hints. And they give you hints and they provide the information and you build your ancestry network that way using the hints. And does this fit? Does that fit? Most of, some of the time they don't. Some of the time they do. And you, you work it out. A lot of the time you build it up a bit and it looks like it's wrong. And I scrap it, click, click, click kick it all off and start again because it doesn't look like it's working out. Anyway, for my grandfather, Peter Paul Daly, I was able to find, and I knew there was a birth certificate anyway, uh, Bridget had information, I recall that now. So I got the exact details of grandfather Peter Paul Daly's birth certificate, and I think it was a, a, a baptismal record as well or something, or, or something else was in there. I, it's on his account, on, on his entry on Ancestry.com. 
and his father's name, we, Dad Cyril, who's deceased now in 2007, thinks it was Peter Paul Daly. That's what he thinks it was. The entries which we've got on the official records is that it's Peter Daly. It doesn't say Peter Paul, he just thinks it was Peter Paul. He might never have used Peter Paul in legal purposes, I don't really know. But records we're going to have, if we're going to find him anywhere for great-grandfather, it's probably just under the name Peter Daly. Now, great-grandmother is Maria Malloy. There's official records for her name associated with grandfather, Peter Paul, and one of the records is Maria Malloy, M-U-L-L-O-Y, and one of them is Maria Molay, M-O-L-L-A-Y, and, um, and our tradition is M-O-L-L-O-Y, Molloy. So, sort of contradictory sort of stuff going on, but it's Maria Molloy, essentially, and Maria Daly Molloy, and things like that. So, um, that's been interesting. But, of course, with Ancestry.com, you can research not just your your bloodline, but all the, all the people who you ultimately add to start your tree and the connections you make, it can keep on building if you, if you get the leaf hints and you're ultimately able to build it. And we've been building all sorts of relatives from my, my father's side of the family as well as my mother's. Now, interestingly, this is what I really wanted to talk about. It's a, I think it's a novel thing. Grandmother was a McLean. Dad, Cyril's mother, was Mary Ann McLean, which is a Scottish clan. And going through the the clan, the the hints and things, I was able to go back and start really digging at some of the names, and I got a long way back on on McLean to start with, and then other branches off McLean Macquarie's and Cunningham's and things, and off the Cunningham's I found Stewarts. This is going back to uh 1500s and 1400s sort of time and after a while i came across um walter stewart sir walter stewart and his father was walter stewart and i just happened to look up the birth dates of these fellas king robert the second one of the walter stewarts was king robert the second of scotland who was the first of the stewart kings of great britain so there you go. I'm a royal. Your feet, upper class, not the commoners. <laughs> Type that into Google Images and notice Kristen Stewart from Twilight. She's descended from the Stewarts as well, from the king. There was other descendants of the Stewart family, but um, yeah. Looks like it's accurate as well. Looks like the genealogy is accurate enough as well. And um, so I've got royal houses in me. It first started with a, a lady, uh, a lady, lady Macquarie, I think it was. When I noticed off, off the McLean, a lady Macquarie. Then I went off, the, then it went back to McLean's for a little bit, and then into Cunningham's, and then into the Stuarts. And uh, we get to Rob of the second, and I think. His father, which was the, the sixth high steward of Scotland, which is just before they were kings or something, or something like that, I'm not sure. But, um, but the, Robert II was the king of, of Great Britain as well, first of the steward kings, so descended from British royalty. Now, interestingly, I think a lot of people are, of course. It's not that big a deal, I don't, I don't really think, especially after five centuries. A lot of people in the empire are descended from kings, but probably not all of them. Probably not all of them. But that's just a little thing of interesting things which I dug up. Of course, with the rest of the things, I've been finding all sorts of families we're part of, on matrilineal sides, of course, and... Um, all sorts of new names have been cropping up and the research goes on. And uh, I'll be doing this genealogy on Ancestry.com, I think, probably for the rest of my... for a long time to come, whatever else.
But that's just the reason why I have this dying truth for the main part, and um, yeah, cheese. <laughs>